Thank you for using SK502 syringe pump. We test our syringe pump with double dove syringes. If you want to use another brand of syringes, you need to reset the syringe parameters in order to guarantee a precise and accurate infusion. I will show you how to change different brand of syringes here. Step 1. Prepare a whole set of 5, 10, 20, 30, and 50 syringes of the brand you want to use in the future. Step 2. Measure the length of the syringes. You may use a ruler or use the scale on the side of the pump to measure the length of the syringes. Firstly, we measure the length of 50 ml syringe. Read from here, 50 ml. It reads 75.5 ml. Write it here. Then, measure the 30 ml syringe. This one reads 68.3 ml. Use the same way to measure the length of 20, 10, and 5, and they raise the 20 ml syringe, raise 61.2 ml. The 10 ml syringe raise 55.4 ml. The 5 ml syringe raise 37.5 ml. Step 3. Install the syringe for calibration or specification setting. Firstly, press power key to start the syringe pump. Secondly, press clear and set keys together to enter into the interface of parameter setting. Thirdly, turn the adjusting knob to make the cursor pointing at set 50 ml. Then, fix the 50 ml syringe into the pump. How to fix this? You need several steps to follow. Pull the compression strut upward and turn it leftward 90 degree. Press this button to move the piston freely. Making sure no air is leaving here. Then fix the syringe into the mounting groove of syringe pump. Pay attention. This part and this part needs to be fixed into the mounting groove here and here. Making sure the piston of the syringe pump touches the piston of the syringe tightly. Then, pull the compression strut and turn it leftward. Now the syringe is well fixed. Next, please look at the LCD. You can see there is a lock symbol here. The parameters cannot be changed under lock condition. You need to unlock it first. Press bonus key to unlock the interface. 
Now you can change the parameter of set 50 ml. Press the adjusting knob once. You can see the value is darkened. And then input the length of the 50 ml syringe. We measured in the second step and uh, it is 75.5. Press the adjusting knob to save the value. Then remove the syringe. Turn it. Then set the parameter value for 30 ml syringe. It's the same like fixing the 50 ml syringe. Turn the adjusting knob to make the cursor pointing at set 30 ml. Still unlock the interface, press bolus key. Press the adjusting knob once. The length of 30 ml syringe is 68.3. Turn it into 68.3. Press it to save. Remove. Next is 20 ml syringe parameter setting. Turn the adjusting knob to make the cursor pointing at Set 20 ml. Press bolus key to unlock. Press the adjusting knob and turn the adjusting knob to input the length of 20 ml syringe. It is 61.2. 61.2. Press the adjusting knob to save. Next is 10 ml syringe. Turn the adjusting knob to make the cursor pointing at set 10 ml. Press bolus key to unlock the interface. Press the other adjusting knob. Turn it to put into the value of 55.4 okay press it to save the last one is 5 ml syringe Make the cursor pointing at set 5 ml. Press bolus key to unlock the interface. Press the adjusting knob and turn it to input value of 37.5. 37.5. Press the adjusting knob to save the value. Press clear and set keys together again. The calibration of new brand of syringe is finished. You could use the new brand syringe in the future. Thank you again for using SK502 syringe pump.